Lately people have started wondering when is Plasma 6 getting released and uh, well how do we even know there's a Plasma 6 coming and the answer to that relies in Qt. Now Qt is the framework at, that KDE uses to actually draw anything on the screen and much more and usually when Qt announces a new version well it's the right moment for KDE Plasma and KDE in general to uh, step up and maybe do a new version of the frameworks, a new major version, so not the small ones. So instead of keeping KD uh, Plasma 5 for the eternity, or I don't know, even frameworks, frameworks are currently 5.92, 93 and counting. And instead of continuing to do that, when Qt says we're going to do Qt 6, well, KD says, okay, then we're going to do KDE Framework 6 and KDE Plasma 6 and in there we can do a bit more things. So the biggest one of course is to actually start using Qt6. So KDE will start using Qt6 in KDE Plasma 6, KDE Framework 6 and so on. The 6 release and of course you can actually already use Qt6 in stuff. Uh, nothing stops you absolutely and some developers are actually like trying out apps with qt6 but there's also other stuff going on let's take the kd frameworks what are those so the frameworks are uh, uh, code that's well let's say behind the scenes makes kd work it's a uh, 83 add-on libraries of various various like I don't know, some manages time, like days, uh, events, stuff like that, could be anything. And uh, right now they're uh, in version 5.22.23 as I've said, and it, people are working on KD Framework 6 since 2019 when uh, Lars presented the plans for Qt6. So Qt6 was announced in 2019, October 2019, and that's when the KD frameworks work actually began. So there's planning the transition and the idea that is that this is completely behind the scenes for users. You shouldn't notice this, but all of the applications that are currently using uh, KD from frameworks, well, six is a good time to actually break the promises of the API. So if you had a certain behavior in KDE framework six that we actually wanted to change, well, we couldn't because apps were relying on it, even third party ones. KDE framework six is a major, major release. And that means that we can, we can actually break promises in the API and clean stuff up, which is also what's happening in KDE plasma six. Let me make you an example. So you know plasmoids in your panel when they use a plasmoid API. Now the plasmoid API over time has got some properties that after a bit of time we realized that they weren't as good as we thought. My bad on a particular one. I, I introduced at least one of those. So KD Plasma 6 is the perfect opportunity to actually get rid of those because apps are not relying on it anymore because a new major version means that you actually have to do work to port your application. And of course, uh, application or plasmoid, of course. That means that there is a bit of porting needed for those who work on KD frameworks or I don't know, plasmoids API or any API that's being ported to six. And the idea is to make sure that it's as little work as possible so that everything that worked before works even in KD6 without too much hassle. So there's also joined the KD Frameworks 6 sprint and I want to show you that this was March 27, 28, 2021, which is almost a year ago. So when people ask, when is Plasma 6 coming up, coming out, sorry, well, it's been in the works in KD Frameworks at least for more than a year, a year and some months at this point, so yeah. This is the Plasma 6 workboard with this very nice, not official 6. So this is the backlog, the things that, uh, well, uh, it's the default. So all the stuff really goes here. It's just one task here, one task here, 85 years. So yeah. And I'll make you an example. I think this is rather representative. All these ta tasks are like this. 
port Plasma Desktop Applets Window List from Plasma Components 2. So Plasma Components 2 was uh, an older way of actually displaying Plasma things. Now there's Plasma Components 3 and uh, KD Plasma 6 should use Plasma Components 3. And so there are lots and lots of tasks saying we need to port away from Plasma Components 2. Then what else do we have? Plasma Plugin Loader Cleanup. So this is the best time as well to do cleanups of behind the scenes code. What else? We get kill run associate applications. This is uh, again a feature that KD Plasma had. It's a uh, like behind the scene feature, but in order to get rid of it, since people are relying on it, well, we need Plasma 6. And you got the idea. Nothing of this list is actually exciting for any user. And the reason for that, which is my reply to what do you expect from KD Plasma 6, is that KD Plasma 6 is not meant to be a revolution with lots of new features and awesome stuff. And okay, people are working on KD Plasma 6 already for months, years even, at least one. And uh, the idea is that it's a lot of behind the scenes work and you, the user, Maybe there will be new features, but the main idea that is that everything should keep working. So Plasma, like uh, four to five, if I remember correctly, I was an, in KDE back then, but there were some issues in that um, it was buggy, maybe the first Plasma 5 release. And that's something that KDE doesn't really want to happen again. So Plasma 6 should be a bug-free release as bug-free as KDE Plasma can get, obviously. There are bugs, there will be bugs, but hopefully no new bugs or not too many. So all the people, all the things that people are saying in, the, in this discussion of 186 comments, well, they're not like bad things or things that will never happen, but these are not things that should happen on a major release or necessarily happen on a major release. Like full Wayland support is something KD was working on for years and one day it will be ready. And maybe that day will be for coincidence the same day of Plasma 6. But if it's not, maybe it will be Plasma 5 dot, I don't know, what is it, 26, maybe. and. If it's ready for Plasma 5.26, why wait for 6? Some kind of tablet mode. Again, this is something that could happen at any time. Plasma 6 means nothing for this thing. A corner bug fix, come on. Seriously, I'm, I, I'm, at this point I'm so annoyed still seeing this. Better Kirigami thingming options. Well, ironically, this could be in uh, Plasma 6 because there's uh, discussions of uh, making the theming system better for six, Plasma 6. And why is that? Well, the idea is, uh, as I said, Plasma 6 is the best time to break, break promises. And in order to improve a theming system significantly, you need to break them a bit. Uh, so there are ideas of improving, redoing from scratch the theming system. So maybe, but the stuff here, doesn't actually need a major version to happen. More padding and consistent UI, these things have been happening for years now. This consistent consistency goal has fixed so many inconsistent UI layouts and uh, paddings, but it's not because there's Plasma 6, it's because we need to improve Plasma regardless of the release. Wallpaper, will paper, sorry. Saving bug fixes, again, this shouldn't happen on a Plasma 6.0 release. There's no reason why it should be. What is actually happening is that in this thread, people are saying what they would want KD to have, but you don't need for Plasma 6.0 to actually implement those things. And um, another thing about that is since we're using Qt6, do we get cool stuff? And I mean, Qt6 does have some cool stuff, that's for sure. However, I gotta say that the coolest feature that I think could be in Qt6 is not in Qt6 yet. It was promised for Qt6 and it wasn't really delivered yet, but Qt6.2, 6.3 is slowly coming. And that is the QML compiling for 
real ish. So you can actually take a subset of QML, a subset of QML plus JavaScript, and compile it to C code for better performance. And I think that's super cool. And given that most of KDE's UI, if not basically everything, is QML, that could be an improvement. I don't want to say that it will be a revolution because it won't be, and there will be work needed to actually make sure that, well, first of all, if this will interest us, right now there's no such product, so who knows, but if it's something interesting, there will be work to adapt QML to that subset of QML that actually compiles, but that could mean less RAM usage, more performance, we'll have to see. Let me just see another couple of examples. Yeah, this is the point. Four to five was not smooth. And the point is that six should be super smooth from five. So what do I expect from Plasma 5? For the love of all that is holy, that it isn't forced to be a replacement for Plasma 5 until it actually bloody works. You get a point, drunken uh, colite. That's the whole point. Plasma 6 doesn't wish to be the revolution, wishes to be a clean transition where things that are old and should be replaced are actually replaced.